All right, we're at the Goodwill bins, putting my fanny pack on because the fanny pack is a must for the Goodwill bins. I'm gonna wear my fancy coat for the Goodwill bins because why not? Let's just get it dirty. <laughs> As we walked up to the Goodwill bins today, I checked my phone and realized that we surpassed 8,000 subs. So before we get started today, I wanna to give everyone watching a super big thank you for that. I can't really believe that we made it this far, but I'm also very excited to make it to 10,000 subs. That really seems like a good whole round number. So if you're watching and you haven't subscribed yet, pretty please hit that subscribe button, help us get there. But in the meantime, stick around for some thrifting. First bin, rope light. Holy crap! Dale Earnhardt number three, telephone. Well, that's interesting. I guess we'll get that. Today's mission, as always, is to just find jeans, specifically some black Levi's, which in the very first bin I looked in, I was able to grab not only a pair of black, but a couple of vintage pair. I'll have to check the condition of them all in a bit. Um, that one looks like it's specifically just on the pocket, but it looks like there's a little spot on that one too, so I might end up not getting them, but um, it's cool to find them right off the bat. Just found a uh, pair of Calvin Klein's, so. We'll get those, those always sell. Really bummed that this is so stained. This has been my new Christmas sweater. So cute. It's a little rich and everything too. That's a bummer. What's this though? It's like a little overskirt for like a play. Oh, no, no, oh my gosh, I dropped my glasses, hey, my glasses match the Furby, oh my gosh, that's the best thing ever, look, his ears, his ears kind of broken, that's all right, can fix, will fix, look, he's fixed. This bin has quite a few prom dresses in it, and they're kind of pretty. like designer brands by any means, but whenever you go prom shopping and you don't want to spend a ton of money, these are the brands you get. Check out this really nice camera bag. I've got my Furby in it right now, but I just found it on top of a clothes bin. I don't really need it. It's just so nice. It's so nice I don't want to leave it. But I'm in a bin full of nonsense here. A bunch of baby dolls, a bunch of plush. I don't know, I, there's nothing specifically interesting it just looks like the kind of bin that you might find some gold in the bottom of honestly what it is it's like a miscellaneous bin all the leftover trash from the floor probably was well was probably scooped up and put in here so if you really want to so if you really want to do the work you could probably dig to the bottom of this one and find some lego stuff like that this is usually where nerf darts end up it's interesting to look out for. When a bin is this, when a bin is this nonsensical, it's definitely leftover trash. Is that a Care Bear clock? It is. You know what? That's probably worth it for my antique malls, but it would take a lot of work to get that fogginess out. Uh, I don't know if I want to mess with it, but I'll hold on to it. Ooh, baby. Hello. Fair prize. These bins are ridiculous. You just don't know what's gonna be in here. 
So I picked up these black Levi's to look at them to see if they're in bad enough, they are in good enough condition to get. They're pretty bad, but while I was looking at them, those underwear fell out of them. Ew! First of all, I just want you to marvel at the size of this theater seat. Tiny chair! We, I wish I could get matching theater seats for us and then put our cats on these. It's perfect. <laughs> Finally, the yellow Furby. Oh my God, it's so cool. I, I've said a million times I want a yellow one. Finally, it shows Beautiful. up. The other thing I got, I think it's too small for what I need, but these boxes, my bottle jack in the back of our van is in a cardboard box and it's not, in a, it's not waterproof back there. And this isn't waterproof, but it'll go a lot further. I think that's too small, don't you? Yeah, I think it's I don't like how flimsy this is, but it'll fit in there. So yeah. we'll go with that. Isn't this a nice jacket? It's a Calvin Klein. It's super heavy. It's really warm and I like it, but I have a, a trench coat already and I just got it and I like it better. One of the things that gets discussed the most on our Discord is the Goodwill bins. So there's a link in this video's description to go join our Discord. Come chat with us about what's going on with you. But I bring this up because uh, someone commented the other day on our Discord telling a really nice story about how someone gave them a whole box full of like Xbox games at the bins just because they had previously noticed that person digging for games. They kind of decided this guy must be the game guy here at the bins. Uh, and you know what? We hear a lot of negative stories about the bins. A lot of people that go for the first time, they say, oh, it sucked. People were so rude. It was terrible. And you know what? We've all had those experiences. It can be a pretty lively place, um, but it can be a good place. There can be good people here too. I mean, case in point, someone just handed me these. Now they are empty. There are no games. Uh, it's Brawl for Wii and then the base, the Mario baseball game for GameCube. But he's like, hey, I know you kind of mess with empty cases sometimes. So here you can have these if you want. Oh, well, thank you very much. I'll definitely take them. Uh, and this happens a lot. I think if you go back and watch our last 10 Ben's videos, almost once a video, I'm like, someone else gave me something. And I don't really ever show it on camera because I don't want to throw other people on camera. But like, I'm always handing people stuff. I know that guy gets some of this stuff. And this one guy I know looks for specific golf clubs and stuff I don't want to mess with. So I'll hand them to him sometimes. It's good to go to the bins and be nice and, uh, you know, reap the rewards of being nice. Help, help other people get what they want. They'll help you get what you want. People are always handing me video game stuff because they know I'm the video game guy. So I said, say, don't get discouraged. If you went to the bins and had a negative experience, go back, just keep going. It'll be fine. You'll be all right. They rarely have shoes at the bins and I'm so excited. Look at these Chelsea boots. They're so pretty. They're made in USA. So I don't know if they're actually vintage or not, but that's always a good sign. I think I'm going to get them. If nothing else, they fit me, so I guess it's no great loss. Okay, we've got just a couple minutes here in a book bin before I kick us out. And uh, I've been having a lot of luck with these book bins lately. I don't think that's anything I'm gonna get, but I do make my own custom buttons. And sometimes this stuff's good for it, but not all of it. But I always wait last minute to dig through these Crown Royal. And I always end up having to rush too much. Hey, hold up. That's awesome. You know what? Last time I came and dug through these book bins, I was real frantic because I just had minutes and I knew there was gaming stuff in it. And they kicked me out. And sure enough, I went home and looked at the footage and I missed the good Pokemon manual. I guess this kind of makes up for it. I don't think it was this one. I think it was black and white, which is fine because I already have that and I don't have this. So that'll go in my collection. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Let's see if I can find anything else before they kick me out. Another reader, SpongeBob. Which timeline are you from? Ender's Game, an older print of Ender's Game. Kind of want to get that, but I'm not. Is that sheet music? Show is. My find of the day, I found in the back. Some really cool cut off Jinko shorts. Sweet. 
All right, well, I'm having a little bit of trouble here because I grabbed these three toolboxes because I have a bottle jack in my van for emergencies. And I really want to take care of it better than I currently am. Of course, I like the yellow one best, but it's a little small. And the bottle jack itself is blue, so it'd be nice in here, but this is much more flimsy than this one. So I think I'm just going to get this one, keep my bottle jack in here. Also, Hannah's struggling with this jacket. That's too nice not to get. It's vintage 1970s. It's so hard. You got to get it. It's so heavy, though. Also, I've got to make the difficult decision to put this poor Care Bear clock back. I really like it, and it would sell, but I don't want to do the work to try to fix it. Okay, so we got some interesting stuff today. My favorite thing that I got, I'm just going to go ahead and spoil it for you now, is yellow Furby. We've been collecting Furbies for a little while. Every full-size Furby I come across, I get. We've been collecting little McDonald's ones and stuff, too, but... Uh, you know, yellow is kind of my thing. So uh, that's probably my favorite thing. But the most useful thing I got today was this toolbox. But let me get in my lockbox here. And uh, I'll show you what my intended purpose for it was. I'm not actually 100% sure whether or not it's going to fit it, but I think it will. I've got a nice little bottle jack in here. A nice pretty blue one. I only use this for emergencies when we're out on the road and I have to. Uh, here in town, I've got a really nice jack. But see, it's smaller than I thought. I just could I should have measured it first because this is a little bit big for it. But, you know, I don't really expect it to protect the thing fully. It's just this box isn't waterproof. It's water resistant. So now it's in a water resistant box inside of a water resistant box. And uh, maybe it'll survive a little bit longer that way. But I should have got the smaller one I was looking at because I think it would have fit in there and taken up less room. But uh I'm happy to have it nonetheless. I just feel a little bit better about it being in there. There you go. There's my jack. I think I'll even stand it up on the skin. Very nice. Very nice. I love finding useful things like that at the bins. There I didn't have to go to Harbor Freight and spend $10 on a little toolbox. What'd that cost us? A dollar? Probably. Probably. All right, now I gotta lock everything back up. This lock system, I use these locks all around the van to kind of lock everything down. But it's kind of funny because this lock with this chain is like just just the right size to fit all together. Any bigger, none of it would work. But we're not going to beat that. Fanny pack off, so useful. Obviously, a lot of stuff happens in the bins that we don't get on camera. Something that happened today was uh, someone had a cord tangled up. They couldn't get something off. And uh, he's like, oh man, I can't get this. So I took my scissors off and off out of my bag here and handed them to him and he was able to fix his thing. So honestly, up to now, people have gotten more use out of these than I have, but it's nice to have those standard tools at the bins. Hannah got a big bag of clothes. Woo! Most of it is one thing. <laughs> really just jeans? Close your door. No, no it's this giant vintage Calvin Klein jacket that weighs like five pounds on its own it's, that weighs more than the whole bag it does actually it's so pretty i was wearing it for a little bit while i was standing in line for the checkout and i got pretty like decently warm real so. warm so is that for you or for resale we'll see we'll see tbd both <laughs> the best stuff is both you wear it for a little while then sell it exactly. i got a ice scraper mitten um, it may look like glorified nonsense because of where we live, but we are doing all this vehicle stuff we've been doing on the channel because we're trying to get back on the road. We want to do some winter travel. We want to hit some mountain ranges, that kind of thing. So I'm going to get a little little baggie underneath my seat for just the normal winter stuff that you yeah. need, in a, need in a car that we don't really keep it here because we don't see winter. How many times have we said while we were watching movies, I miss snow every time we oh, see we, it. <laughs> we've been feeling it bad lately. I know some of my friends in New York, my buddy from New York text, texted me yesterday and his car was buried in the snow, like legit buried under the snow. And I was like, man, that sucks. I, I probably should regret saying that I miss snow. Yeah. Uh, some of you guys are probably gonna hate me for saying that because you've got, you've got so much of it. Well, I got a couple of jeans for color blocking. I really needed some black, so I'm happy about that. And then I got just a, uh, couple more pairs. This pair, I'm, I can't use for color blocking. I'm kind of debating on keeping them for myself because they're just a vintage pair of like distressed Levi's. I think they're cute and I wear a lot of Levi's, so maybe we'll keep those. The silliest thing I bought today was this uh, Dale Earnhardt phone. Uh, it's pretty cool. But the other reason I bought it is I've sold a lot of Dale Earnhardt specific stuff in our antique mall booth. Um, and 
I was actually, strangely enough, watching the day he died. I was watching the race. Interesting. I remember it really well. My, I didn't, I didn't really ever get much into NASCAR myself, but my stepfather was super into it, and we were always at their house on Sundays, and we always, the race was always on, and I just remember it being a big deal. A real sad day when he died. So, uh, I got that. We'll sell that in antique mall. What else? Got a pair of. It's a little bit of a shame because these are cutoffs, which means somebody did just destroy them, but they're a pair oh, of man. Jinko shorts. No, yeah, they'll still sell, but it would have yeah. been nice to see how wide-legged they were at the they're, bottom. They're supposed to be 23 inches. They're not super, super big, but pretty big. Well, another interesting thing, any pair of jeans we ever find that has any stripe down the side, if it's blue denim with something like that, it always sells really well for us, and yeah. we've even been known to sew stuff onto denim like that. So Pro show. That was a good one. Uh, this was a pretty good find. Uh, especially since I didn't have it, I'm just trying to get one of each of the, you know, the manuals for every Pokemon game in my own collection. So it'll be nice to add that one. Somebody handed me this. They didn't want it. Um, it's a Rustler vintage jacket. I don't sell a ton of Rustler, but I, I dabble. So I was like, well, I mean, it's at least a twenty dollars sale for yeah, sure. Yeah, it's not bad. Is that everything? And I got a pair of little Chelsea boots. They're so cute. Oh well, yeah. Our, I don't know how your bins does. Every bins is a little different, and our bins is already different than it was. It hadn't been doing shoes in forever. Not at all. In the last couple stops, they've had a few bins full of shoes, uh, and. What happens at a Goodwill Benz, and you may or may not know this, is sometimes in a big enough city like where we live in Phoenix, a Goodwill outlet will will do deals with local stores, local recycling, just different people. Uh, you know, the, a lot of times they, the bins around America like sell their leftover computer parts to Dell or somebody, I don't know who, some computer company. And for the longest time here, they've been selling all the shoes to some local uh, establishment to do so. I don't even know what they're doing with them, but I, either that contract's up or they've been overflowed or something, but our bins is back to doing shoes and we love it. I love getting the shoes here. It's not that expensive, but I was kind of surprised that these weren't like overstock from the Goodwills. These are just like never been dug through. They're really beautiful. They're by Ellen Edmonds, which it says made in USA. I don't know that brand or but they look older so i was pretty happy with them They're you gonna cute. put them on depop or what's the plan yeah i think so um I, I picked them up and i was like "Ooh, i'd wear chelsea boots that are this color but i don't think that i'll keep them we'll see well what's your favorite thing you found today um i'm gonna go with the jacket because that's a really like well, I picked it up and I thought it was pretty and then I investigated more to find out what yeah. it was made out of and I was like, oh wow, that's vintage well, My favorite thing you found was that pair of Jinkos. Yeah, those are sweet. Well, this is by far my best find of the day. Awesome. Loud, loud rig. Real quick before we go, let me get my Scroogey out. Let's see if we got any battery corrosion. Like the last couple we brought home, and I usually would check this. I mean, I would have bought it even with corrosion. I'm just collecting these bad boys at this point. Oh, What's no batteries. We're nice. good. Very nice. And like this Furby's in really good condition compared to the last couple that I found. Cause like even the last couple that I found, like the, the Furby seal of approval or whatever has been worn out and stuff like that. But the only thing wrong with him is his ears coming off, but I think I just got it latched back down. I actually had no idea how the ear worked mechanically, but there's a piece of plastic with a hook and there's a knot sewn through it. And the hook goes around the knot. I now know just in case you didn't know. All right, let's actually go home and let's, uh, add this guy to our Furby shelf. Stick around. All right, all right. I am unreasonably happy to have found this today. For the longest time on this channel, we've been buying and reselling Furby. And to be honest with you, it's grown really quickly over the last few months to be one of my favorite things to collect. As you can see in this room, we collect a lot of nonsense. I collect Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. Hannah collects Bratz dolls. And there's much more in this room to show off. Uh, and all that's a really good reason why you should subscribe if you haven't already because uh, January 1st should be our new game room tour where we show this off. We've been working on it really hard. So if you like the sound of that, subscribe, turn those notifications on. So when we post that video, you'll be ready to come watch it. I'm trying to make it something special. But uh, one of the things I've got to do to kind of get this room ready for that is finally kind of do a custom display for my Furbies or not uh, just something different that I've been doing because they've just been right here in this dark shelf, not really looking great. But 
I'm beyond ecstatic about this because I've been saying for weeks, man, I need to find a yellow one. I need to find a yellow one. And I did. I did find a yellow one the other day. But it wasn't, I mean, honestly, it's one of the coolest ones I have, so I'm not mad about it. But it's a baby Furby. It's kind of funny. They're only like 20% smaller. You know what I mean? They're not like baby Furbies like McDonald's Happy Meal Furbies, right? They're, they're just like... 20% smaller like it's kind of funny you almost if you didn't know Furbies as well as someone like myself that have owned quite a few you would probably see this and think it was a regular Furby but it's not it's just a little smaller but I, I've got all this yellow stuff in this room yellow is kind of my thing as I said and uh, so I've just been saying all the time I want a yellow Furby and so I found this so I was like good enough I'll take it but today as soon as I saw this in the bin I was like, oh my god, I can't believe it. Like, I'm just properly stoked about it. And I'm very happy to put this on the shelf. Though, I have a little bit of a problem here. We're out of room. We are out of room. So, I definitely here in the next week, I'm going to go buy some more of... I did not put that in there very well. Now you're going to fall off. Don't fall, Furby. In the next week or so, I need to go buy more of these. I'm trying to go all the way around our game room with these uh, top layer shelves because the Ikea shelf comes right here. This is an add-on, these two shelves. And I think, I'll go ahead and grab these again. Should just held on to them. I think my Furby collection would be best displayed. Tell me if you agree or disagree. Just like that. And then there'd be two rows of them. And just leave them right there on the edge. I think that'll be the way to do it. What do you think, Hannah? You like it? Looks good. I kind of, you know what? Why, why are we just here talking about it? Let's do it. <laughs> Isn't that great? Oh my gosh. All right, switch games. I've been moving a bunch of stuff around to get to my Wii Fit. Don't, don't worry about it. Don't look at that. Uh, got a few more. Oh, baby. I'm in love. I'm in love. Can we get one more on there? We'll get the white one. This Furby over here, this Uggo monstrosity chunk or chew, that's a new generation Furby. This is a lot newer than this is. And I don't have room for him right now. I guess we could put him up here by the Sega games. He'd be a little out of place. <laughs> Hello? That's what the Furby display look, needs to look like, don't you think? Little Furbos. Are you as happy about that as me or am I just a crazy person? <laughs> They're cute, but also a little, like, dead-eyed. Well, so, it's so funny how different some of them can be. This one looks like he's about to eat you. <laughs> I mean, look at this. He looks psychotic. He he looks properly hungry. He looks scared. These two look scared, like someone's coming. But that one scares me. And actually, one of you guys sent that to me, so there you go. Um, thanks, guys, for watching, and thanks for hanging out with us today. We do post daily videos here on this channel, so make sure that you're subscribed to those notifications are turned on so you can come back and hang out with us tomorrow when we post a new video. Also, maybe consider joining our Discord. Link in this video's description. Come over there and chat with us. If you've got any Furbies, come show me some pictures. I'd love to see them. Uh, but that's going to be it, guys. Hit the subscribe button, too. I'd really appreciate that. And until tomorrow, peace out.